Hello Avon, I'm Wyatt Mayer. And I'm Alexis Edwards. Thank you for watching this special edition of the Oriole Report. Today, on September 11th and on this day in 2001, a tragedy happened that shook the world to its core. It's left a lasting effect on our country. Today, we remember those lost and those who served to help. As the years pass, fewer of our students were alive at this time. Let's begin with a look at why this day cannot be forgotten. There's a tragedy on 9-11. Let's check out a rundown from Mr. Vogel and some stories from our other teachers. So 9-11 happened uh, September 11th, 2001. Um, it was a terrorist attack performed by the group called Al-Qaeda, where 19 uh, terrorists hijacked four planes uh, with four separate targets, right? So we've got uh, two for the World Trade Centers in New York City, which was essentially the financial capital of the United States at the time. Uh, one was aimed at the Pentagon, and then one, we believe, was aimed at the White House, but it never made it there because uh, the passengers had took it over and essentially crashed the plane. Um, so we, we know it was Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda because um, a couple of months after the attack, uh, he had come out and admitted that um, it was his, his design, his plan, his organization, execution, um, and his group took that full responsibility. And the claim was is they were upset with American interference in, in the uh, Middle East and especially the Islamic world. And um, Al-Qaeda being an extremist Islamic group believed that they were conducting a justified holy war against the United States. And 9-11 attacks was the start of that holy war. We had an empty, I, my classroom was empty because class had released and I was standing at the door and we had TVs in the corner of our rooms and word got out something had happened in New York so I quickly turned on my TV and several other teachers and students came in the room and we were looking at the screen and we saw the plane had hit and we assumed it was an accident and we were thinking how terrible it was and while we were watching the second plane hit and we realized that was not an accident, that something terrible was going on, and it was like a gut punch that you just didn't know what to do. You felt totally helpless and didn't know where the world was going. I was a, uh, a band director in Sugarland, Texas, which was the suburbs of Houston, um, and I remember that day like it was yesterday, uh, very much like it was yesterday. Uh, I remember the school shutting down that day. Being in Houston and the President Bush was the president at the time, his parents were living in Houston at the time. As soon as they, we knew what was going on, uh, they, and they shut the airlines down, I remember uh, fighter jets flying over Houston, kind of protecting that airspace immediately. Uh, I remember the kids being really scared. So many of the high school students had parents that were business travelers and were traveling. Um, we had a uh, student actually at my school that uh, was working in the Pentagon that died that day. Um, and there, uh, there's a statue that hangs outside of the school named for him. So like it, it becomes very real. I don't, you don't think about it until you think about it. I will never forget 9-11. So I was a stay-at-home mom at that time and I had just gotten my kids put together. We were getting ready to go to school and a friend called me and said, are you watching TV? And I said, no, why? And she said, you need to turn it on right now. I turned it on and it was just when the first plane hit the building. And it was just stunning where you're just like, you just can't wrap your head around what's happening. It was like, oh boy, okay. So just kind of processed that for a few minutes and then the second plane hit and then it was like, oh no, we're, we're under attack. This is terrible. So um, it was, it was a, very uh, surreal time of just trying to process what was happening. 11, I was in fifth grade at Avon Intermediate School East. Now it was the only intermediate school then, but I was at Camp Tecumseh on the way back when 9-11 happened. I think uh, people need to remember what that happened. And I think more importantly, people need to remember the aftermath where we all came together. We were all for each other, helping each other. Uh, it kind of gave a sense of unity. It's sad, but it did. I'd like to see that back. Afterwards, just it was fascinating to watch how how everybody kind of banded together and and were like, you know, America has been attacked, and we're feeling very protective and concerned, and hoping for a, a resolution very soon. I do remember is. Uh, it felt like our country was never tighter, never closer. It was a horrible, horrible day.
but the weeks after like brought our country together in a really, really powerful way. That's what I remember about it. For Avon TV, I'm Anthony Acosta. Now we would like to take a moment for the Pledge of Allegiance led by our school veterans. It will be followed by performance of the National Anthem. This next video may be disturbing for some, and it is certainly emotional for many. But we feel it's important to show, to help you understand why this day left such an impact and why we pay tribute to it each year. ABC 15's Christopher Sign going through these new audio tapes tonight. Number three in the back, um, the cockpit's not answering. Somebody's stabbed in business class, and um, I think there's mates that we can't breathe, I don't know, I think we're getting hijacked. Hi, Boston Center, TMU. We have a, a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New, New York, and we need you guys to, we need someone to scramble some F-16s or something up there to help us out. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise manifest. Smoke in lower Manhattan. Another one just hit the building. Wow. Another wow. one just hit it hard. Another one just hit the world trade. All building just uh, came apart. Oh the region commander has declared that we can shoot down aircraft that did not respond to our direction. Did you copy that? You read that from the vice president, right? Vice president has cleared. United 9-3, have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. When did he land? Because we he, have confirmation. He, 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 he did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes, yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. As we wrap up our 9-11 tribute show, we would like to end with a moment of silence. Please join us. <laughs> 